are data types? How many data types are there in C? Let's figure out answers to these questions in our today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Link Frequency and I'm Aishwarya Pattar. This video is part of our course that is C Programming for Absolute Beginners 2022. Without any further delay, let's get started. C has some predefined sets of data type to handle various kinds of data that we can use in our program. Data types are the building blocks of C programming language. It is used for declaring variables and functions of different types. It is used to specify the size and the type of information the variable will store. C has four types of data type. Basic data type, enumeration data type, derived data type, and void data type. Most of the times for small programs, we use basic data type like int, float, char, and double. Complex and huge amount of data, we use derived data type like array, pointer, structure, and union. Now, let's try to understand each of the data type. Basic data type. Basic data type are used to store the values in integer or decimal format. It supports either signed or unsigned literals. The size of the memory of these data types can change depending upon the operating system used, that is, whether it is 32 bit or 64 bit. Int stores zero positive or negative values without the decimal. The value can be either signed or unsigned. The size of the int is either 2 byte or 4 byte depending upon the compiler used. Keyword used is int float. It is used to represent fractions. It stores decimal values with single precision. The size of the float is 4 byte. The keyword used is float double stores the decimal value with double precision. The size of the double is 8 bytes. Keyword used is double. Char stores a single character. The size of the char is 1 byte. Keyword used is char. The screen represents the basic data types along with their memory size. Second data type is enumeration data type. Enumeration data types are user-defined data types that consist of integers. These are used to increase the readability of the code. The name of the enumeration is a flag and the constant are the values of the flag. The keyword used is enum. The most common example for this is days of a week. Derived data types. Derived data types are nothing but basic data types that are grouped together like array, pointer, structure and union. You can group many elements of similar data types here. These data types are defined by the user. Array. Array is a collection of variables belonging to same data type and is stored in contiguous memory location. An array needs to be either initialized or the size must be specified during the declaration. An array can be one-dimensional, two-dimensional or multi-dimensional. The indexing starts from zero and ends at array size minus one. Pointer Pointer is a special type of variable that holds the address of another variable. This address signifies where that variable is located in the memory. Pointer allows user to perform dynamic memory allocation, that is, during the runtime. Structure Structure is a collection of data types that can store the variables of similar or different data types under the same name. The keyword used is struct union. Union is a group of elements of similar or different data types. Union allows storing of various data types in the same memory location. Keyword used is union. Union might sound similar to structure, but there is a difference. A structure allocates sufficient memory to all its members, whereas a union only allocates memory equal to its largest member. The last data type is void data type. Void is just an empty data type. Generally, void is used as a written type for functions. When we declare a function as void, then it doesn't have to return anything. The keyword used is void. So, we learnt about various data types that belong to C. If you have any queries, then you can surely comment below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching our video. I hope you could enjoy the video content. Consider subscribing to our channel Link Frequency. Also, share our videos across all your connections. Until we meet on our next video, happy learning. Tune yourself to make a difference. Thank <music> you.